morning, good afternoon, and good evening, and welcome to, actually, I was going to say a Mo2 Meerkat video, but I think I'm going to upload this video across all different socials, so hello and welcome to this video, whatever different social media platform you're viewing this on. Now, today, I'm taking you through, thank God, another onboard from my BUKC career, if you don't know what that is, the British University's Karting Championship, run by Club 100 in these proper properly quick carts super fun i've been doing it for a couple of years and thanks to covid obviously had a decent break from it over summer then came back again at clay pigeon in uh, the winter last year and then had another six month break but we back today in the mains championship for the first time at paul fletcher international circuit so let's get in to my race and as we pull up for this race on a beautiful day in PFI, you can see all your loads of bumping. What is going on there? So some guys got too wide. I don't know what they're doing, but anyway, they have a board to the start, and we're going across the line in P15, and we of course move straight over to the left to get a good slingshot under this bridge, as we do up the inside of that bloke and another bloke on the outside there. I do go a little bit careening into the the back of the guy in the black suit there. I do apologise, sir, but I mean it still worked. Get a bit of a tap and went around the outside. It's happening over here. Makes you mad. Makes you furious, and that guy probably is a little bit angry now behind me. We managed to gain a few positions from that start. Going from P... Oh, I was supposed to be P13, but I was actually P15 on the start. But up to P12 already. And by it see behind, it seems Georgie is... Look! Oh, no! Three guys get, I guess, a little bit tangled there and sent each other off into the Shadow Realm on the outside there. Oh, dear. But I'm still following Georgie. We've got Lester on the outside there. He's going to get a great one. I'm going to try and follow him. But no, Georgie covers it off. And I'm, I'm thinking I'm in a good position already. Those three guys have gone off. I've gained some nice positions just from them. So we're going to keep it chill. We're going to relax. I'm going to stick behind Georgie. For now, anyway, it's a long track. It's a long race, 25 minutes. We've got lots more time to try and make these moves happen. So I thought, let's not grab at some silly moves and accidentally bin ourselves in our first race in the mains, the top tier championship. Let's just have some fun and, and, and kind of work myself into it. So we get a good run out of the final quarter there. As I say, still following Georgia. And we've got a Leicester guy just in front of him, who I relatively know through a friend. And I know we're relatively similar pace. So I think I can catch him. So I go slingshotting up the inside of Georgie boy. I think I make some slight contact on the inside of him. But there we are. Robin is racing, my good sir. And uh, made it through. I didn't think it was particularly too much of impact. I thought it was okay. But I don't know. It seems that Mains is a little less bumpy than maybe it was an Inter. So maybe I need to be a little bit nicer. But we move forward on to lap Four, and we're chasing down another guy in this black suit. I'm going to go under the bridge and send it up his inside. I think a bit less... Okay, no. A bit more contact than last time, actually. Did kind of grab at that move. Um, Maybe it wasn't my best there. But we're going to wait. We're going to run, go around another, another lap. Onto lap five. I'm going to try it again. Because why not? Under the bridge. On the outside. Sling it back to the inside. I'm here this time, mate. Come on. Make the breaking. And we're finally there. I think we're just about through. What? Is he going to come back up or inside? He's not, thank God, that time at least. Move on to lap seven. Obviously in position seven now. And look for the inside. There he comes. I think that's it's a different bloke. That's definitely a different helmet. Sends it up my inside. I try to do a little bit of switch back, which I thought could work. See, I lock up the brakes there. I lock up the uh, the tires at least. Going into that corner. But end up, we end up working together. And honestly, he was just so quick. He ended up pulling away. You can see him there. He's about three or four seconds ahead of me now. Oh, dear. On to lap 12. And another guy slings up our inside. But this time, the uh, cutback works a little bit better. On that... Um Fast left hander. Oh, he's done it again. I've just chatted absolute bollocks. I thought I was going to be like, oh, yeah, look at that switch back from John there. God, he's an epic racer dude. But, oh, no. This man slings it back up my inside, and we've lost out again. Going to look throughout the inside, down into the first hairpin, but I thought it was not worth it. It was going to be a bit too much of a send there, and I thought I might accidentally take him out. So we're going to slingshot through the last corner. I go a, a little bit wide, but that's okay. That's allowed. Just a bit of a warning there, I think. On to lap 14. Down in position 9. We're getting the slipstream. The slipstream at this track is absolutely mega. We look for it down under the hill. Into the breaking area. Another bit of a tap. Um, maybe need to be a bit more clean with my future moves. But it was kind of made the move stick anyway. And we've gone around his inside. Which turns to the inside for the next corner. And we've finally done it and made it stick there. Moving forward onto lap 15. Still in position 8. And is he going to send it up the inside? He is indeed. And I... Should have been able to go for the cutback there, really. Oh, there's another bloke. Oh, Leeds. What are you doing? Oh, another bloke. What? What is going on here? Bloody lamb. Son of a sheep is through. How has that even happened? 
three people in like one corner practically. What has happened there? I was hoping I could get a good switch back on the first guy, but then they just carried on following each other through. What? I, this is something I noticed from mains. Everyone is so close on pace that as soon as you start going backwards, you get in like a chain of going backwards and more and more people just continue to take you. And another bloke. Well, there we go. Why don't I just sign off and see you boys later? Down to B12 now. Behind this guy in the bloody blue helmet again. He's obviously lost out to those three as well. So we're relatively similar pace, me and this guy, it seems. But those three have just taken off now. They've just left us. But here we go. I'm going to look back on the inside. That was ballsy, John. I needed to be... I need to have less balls on this. I was just going for random sends, left, right, and center. But it seems to have stuck. It has indeed. Back up into P11. Can we make it back to the top 10? I've already done this race, so I can tell you we can't. But we're going to make a good, a good trial. But anyway, and we're going to have great fun at doing so. Now in a pack of five, this man looks to go back up my inside and does so. Squeezes me out wide. What was that, sir? You could have given me a bit more room than that. Not really fair, but there we go. It's it's all fair in, uh, in love and war, as they say, and in love and racing, because we do love a bit of racing. On to lap 21, and again, still in P12, just behind this kind of gaggle of carts, and I'm thinking, like, they're so, they're so close just to get into the top 10. It's doable, and another person sets up my inside. I give him a little tap to say, oi, I'm not happy with that. On the last lap, are you having a laugh, mate? On the last lap, so I'm going to look for it. They cover off the inside into the hairpin, but then they move back across in the braking area, and then you don't see it in this video, but they got annoyed at me that I hit them up the rear. You can't move back across in the braking area and then get annoyed at me that I broke in the braking point. Like, what are you on about? Try and go back to the outside to then switch back here, but don't quite get the traction, and it doesn't quite work. I have to sit behind, and I realistically know into the final sector there isn't really a good passing point. So we go into the final corner here, lap 21, P13 to come across the line. So starting from P13, 15 or what was supposed to be p13 drop going up to p7 and then going back down to p13 i was pretty happy with that to be found my first ever outing in mains not too shabby but there we have it those were my highlights from round one of the mains British University's Karting Championship for 2021. I did have a second race, but we won't go into that in any detail. Might have got a back fag. Uh, you saw I was a bit punchy in that one. I was even more punchy in the second race. Maybe need to tone it down for Clay Pigeon this week. But saying that, I should have two more races after this weekend, which I'll be uploading onto the second channel, onto my Instagram, Twitter, all things like that. So make sure you follow me wherever you're watching this on. And I hope you enjoyed. And I will see all of you Meerkats later. Goodbye, guys.